Clinton trashes Donald Trump in Grammy's cameo, realizes her big mistake too late by that conservative girl entertainment politics for MadWorldNews.com. The entertainment industry came together to bestow awards upon themselves once again on Sunday night for the Grammys. This time, disgraced presidential candidate Hillary Clinton showed her ugly mug in a cameo performance where she was featured trashing President Donald Trump. How original! She may have earned the applause of other E-list uh, liberals in the uh, room, but soon she was regretting her politically charged stunt big time. As is always the case when uh, award shows like the Grammys roll around the famous faces of Tinseltown using the evening as an opportunity to spew hatred for the president, of course, the scenario was much different when there was a Democrat in the White House. When uh, Barack Obama was president, he was lauded by celebrities no matter what he did. The same entertainers used award shows as a major platform to campaign for Hillary Clinton when she was running for president for the second time. However, that didn't work out too well for her. Still, Hillary hasn't given up on the famous elites uh, who stumped uh, diligently uh, for her, donated generously to her campaign coffers, and even held fundraisers at their lavish homes where Tickets cost tens of thousands of dollars and all the proceeds went to fund a lousy candidate who ultimately lost spectacularly to a businessman who was a political novice. Let that one sink in for a moment. Likewise, these fools who supported Hillary apparently haven't given up on her either, even though she has now failed at winning the White House twice. On Sunday night, Hillary made a cameo appearance at the Grammys alongside some of her most ardent supporters. I guess she was not, has nothing better to do now that uh, she has no job, according to the Gateway Pundit together. Hillary and her celebrity cronies took turns trolling President Donald Trump by reading highlights from author Michael Wolff's discredited Fire and Fury novel on the Trump White House. Serving as the grand finale, Hillary Clinton was the last person to read the book in the cameo segment, much to the delight of all the liberals in the audience who can't seem to get enough of her, even though she let them down massively. I guess uh, she is kind of like that girlfriend you keep going back to because she always tells you what you want to hear, even though she just can't seem to get her crap together. David Mack, a surprise appearance from Hillary Clinton reading Fire and Fury at the Grammys. Well, while Hillary's little uh, Trump uh, bashing skit might have gone over well with those in the room on Sunday evening, I don't know why this is not playing, um, on Sunday evening, she would have done well to consider the fact uh, that, that the event, as always, was televised uh, like uh, nationwide, meaning that it didn't take long for Americans watching to recognize the stunning hypocrisy of her move. The irony of Hillary's stunt lies in the fact that on the very same night, at the very same gathering, uh, stars came together to protest sexually, uh, sexual harassment by wearing white roses on accessorize uh, their designer outfits. Hillary, of course, is married to one of the most notorious rapists of our time. The roses, a symbol of the suffragette uh, movement, uh, were to show solidarity with the Me Too and uh, Time's Up movement, Lady Gaga, Kelly Clarkson, Eve, Rita Ora, Cindy Lauper, and Lana Del Rey were among the many women who chose to accessorize their stunning dresses with the rose. The ladies were led by Gaga, who has been very open about the sexual abuse she suffered as a teen and has made uh, been a vocal uh, supporter of the movement. Many male stars also donned a rose to support the demonstration, including the likes of Ryan Seacrest, Sting, Shaggy, and Sam Smith, Source Daily Mail. 
Oddly enough, none of the women abused by Bill Clinton were invited to attend the Grammys on Sunday. Juanita Broderick, Kathleen Wiley, and Paula Jones were all noticeably absent, but if Hillary were really concerned about the plight of women, if she were a real feminist, she would have been reading from Broderick's book, You'd Better Put Some Ice on That, How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton. It's a fantastic read. You can order it here. Uh, unbelievable, right? The hypocrisy of this woman. I don't know why that little clip is not playing. These, these are copyrighted. Um, let me see if I can get the clip, which I have it on the other video of mine. Um, so, I, I don't know. Um, the other video of mine that's uh, there. Let's see if it plays now. Yeah. He had a long time fear of being poisoned. One reason why he liked to eat at McDonald's. Nobody knew he was coming, and the food was safely cremated. That's it, we've got it. That's the one. You think so? Oh, yeah. The grandma's in the bag? In the bag. You know, how they could worship this devil. But again, wh what are we talking about? The Grammys, all devil worshippers at the Grammys, Satanists. So why wouldn't they? That's the, uh, what do they call the high witch? The high priestess or something? I don't know what you call them. Uh, whatever. This is the grand witch over there. So what, what does that tell you? Of course, stop supporting these people. That's all I say. The, we were we, we didn't know and we supported these people uh, and they became powerful through our money and they turn around and stab us in the back and that was their plan all along. So I suggest all us conservatives just stop funding these people. Cut, shut off the spigot like they say, right? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.